Hello everyone, in this capsule video, I am going to tell you what is middle cerebral artery Doppler. So here in the picture, you can see here, it is a circle of Willis and here it is a middle cerebral artery. The Doppler, the MCA Doppler is done to assess resistance in the fetal brain vasculature. Now in IUGR, that means intrauterine growth restriction, or in cases of fetal anemia which is common with the hydrops fetalis we do this MCA Doppler what we do what we see here there is a brain sparing effect that develops with these conditions in which the blood flow to the brain is increased to increase the blood flow the vasculature decreases its resistance so what we see in the MCA Doppler is we basically see is a PI that is pulsatility index and that the formula of the PI is S minus D uh, divided by the S. S means systolic velocity, D means diastolic velocity. Now, if PI decreases, that means the diastolic velocity increases in comparison to the systolic flow. So, that's how PI decreases. So, resistance decreases. So, normal MCA Doppler looks like this. There is a systolic, there is a diastolic. Now it comes a systolic velocity, then comes to the diastolic velocity. Now it is a systolic velocity, then it comes to the diastolic velocity. So this is how a normal color Doppler of MCA is there. But what happens with the IUGR, with the brain spanning effect? It's like that. The systolic velocity is just like that, but the diastolic velocity now increases. Systolic velocity is just like that, but diastolic velocity is now increased in comparison to the systolic velocity. So this kind of Doppler, the PI will decrease and it will show as the resistance in the brain vasculature decreases. So this is how we see. And this is the real picture of MCA Doppler. Here you see the normal pulsatility index is 1.74. Here is a systolic wave. Here is a diastolic wave. Here you can see the systolic wave, wave was as it is, but the diastolic wave has been increased. So this is how we see the MCA Doppler. Thank you, friends.